Welcome to another episode of Fire Feast and Friends, the show where we cook outside all year round, whatever the weather. And what a glorious January morning we've got yeah, here thanks. today. Yeah, no, I'm uh, here now. I'll have to go in a sec. Yep. Uh, no. Yeah, I fish was. sticks and chicken nuggets. <laughs> Later. <laughs> How are you doing, babes? Morning, Damien. All right. So I was going to cook breakfast over fire. I've got breakfast. You've got breakfast? Yeah, I've got... Um, I've set up. We're ready to go. I was wondering where you were. It's fine. You can both cook breakfast. Yeah. Well. Little cook off. I'll taste it. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. No pressure. No pressure. What do you need? Or have you got everything? I think I've got. I just need a bowl to mix some eggs. I've got bowls. Um. Let me mix up some eggs. All right, so just, just, just for the cameras, Damien, what are you cooking? I will be cooking pain perdu, French toast, eggy bread. Uh, I've got a um, little secret ingredient as well. And I'm going English Yeah. all day long. Classic. I've got bacon, sausage, mushrooms, a bit of bread. We're going to do some fried bread, black pudding, tomatoes and eggs. All right, well, you both cook. I'll taste it and I'll tell you who wins. Lovely. I like it how he gets the taste. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to whisk up some eggs. Go for now it. you actually mentioned to me previously with French toast, you should use more yolks than white. So I was going to try that. I've never tried that before. So it's a great way to do it. So what it does is it enriches. What we're trying to make with a pan padu or yep. eggy bread yep. is we want this really rich sort of like creamy custard, don't yeah. we? So by adding more yolks, you're making a custard almost. Yeah, So it's right. going to enrich it and make it better. So There's one yolk. I'm glad you listened to what I yeah, say. Yeah, babes, I do sometimes. Sometimes I think it goes he out on it. He hangs on you every word. Every word, yeah, it's yeah, quite yeah, good. Yeah, 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 totally. yeah. So that's fantastic. Do you know so, what pan do means? It's, what, isn't it lost bread? Lost bread. Lost yeah, bread, yeah. So you're, that's it. You're, you're retrieving the lost bread. This is why we have a French well, toast. Well, So, <laughs> I mean, I, the, the bread does matter, actually. I quite like French toast. I've done a little bit of experimentation. Normal white bread seems to work the best, I think. Okay. Sourdough is one that I think really doesn't work. Too much flavour in the bread. Have you ever tried it with um, brioche? Brioche works. Brioche yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. I've got, should I show you my secret ingredient right now? Because what I've got, you might like this. I've actually got an old, an old cinnamon bun that I was going to chop up. And wow. Top. Do like a, a, a French toast version of a cinnamon bun. Nice. The other thing I do actually, Sometimes, because it is better with uh, stale bread. I think it might just be because of the structure. Yeah, holds it, together it much better. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I haven't got stale bread, if I know I'm cooking French toast the next morning, I'll just cut some slices ready the night before, Leave and then they dry out. out. Yeah. yeah, really good idea. Yeah, man. Right. So I've got two yolks in there, <laughs> and then one full egg. Woo! So now I've I literally will... just sorry to interrupt. Go on, go on. I've literally just sealed off my sausages because we are quite lucky. I'm using the big green egg. I'm going to pop it in there, leave them to go, and that gives me plenty of space then. Now, if you're working over a fire pit or a kettle barbecue or something like that, there is nothing wrong with taking frying pans outside and using them on your barbecue. Utilise it as if it was a proper kitchen, because it is a proper kitchen. So don't be scared of it. Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> now, again, I... Oh, that's nice and thick already, you see? Yeah, look at that. I normally just put a little splash of milk in. Okay. I don't know it's if you have any, any thoughts milk. on that. It's very posh milk. Yeah, babe. Is that the farm down the that's road from, from where I live? That's from your, your vending machine. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Amazing. So, <laughs> one thing I want to do while Damien's doing this as well is I've gone king of mushrooms. Strangely enough, they've got king in the name. I use king oysters. These are a wild mushroom. But these are absolutely incredible. They're really big, beefy. And like in previous episodes we've talked about, like on previous episodes, I'd say, a mushroom takes a lot of cooking. Nearly as much cooking as like anything else on the breakfast. So I'm going to get these on quite early. And I'm going to put these straight on the Ophir, cooking on that plancher, so they can have a long time to lose those juices and then caramelise up so they really work. Vanilla. <laughs> Just as a question, are you adding any meat? Because I do see you've got bacon. Oh, I've got some bacon, yeah, I love, I'm a bit American with my brunch. I like uh, streaky bacon with so my... You've streak I love yeah. streaky bacon, mm. um, but I love butcher's bacon. I've got some really special stuff. Yeah, that does look interesting. What is so that? this is black bacon, so this is 
cured with uh, molasses, and oh, then wow. it's and then it's smoked well, in a cold it's smoker. Smell different. So have a smell of it. It's absolutely amazing. The only thing I was a bit disappointed with, and I've yeah, just seen you've got yeah. it, is it isn't streaky. They only yeah. had back bacon, okay. which is fine, but it's a bit leaner. Whereas the thing about lovely streaky bacon is it renders down mm. that fat and goes crispy. Mm. So maple syrup. Whoop. Oh, nice. Malmosa oh. tomatoes. These are really quite special. So bread's going on. Uh, cinnamon roll. No. What do you call it? Cinnamon bun. Cinnamon it's bun. Cinnamon bun. And then out of it. Made it nice, didn't they? Already skin yummy. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous! Look at that. Got berries too, babe. Look at that. God. They're nice and seasonal, I see. Yeah, so, um, They're growing in Waitrose. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I'm ready, actually, Rossi boy. Really? Yeah, man. He's still going. Yeah, it's I'm going to be another 15 minutes okay. at least. More maple, huh? Yeah, babes. Oh, look at that. Okay. It's, yeah, okay. Um. I now know why he's always so happy, because if he's eating this for breakfast every morning, there is so much sugar on this. Yeah, okay, so. God, I hope it's good. We've got some berries, some, I'm gonna have to get a bit of Yeah, that. a bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon um, bun. Roll, cinnamon bun, yeah. Wow. Did it work? Hold on, was that a wow? There's a lot going on. <laughs> Bit like me, baby. That, that is a, a wow. How's the French toast? It's going to be a second. Is the cinnamon bun a bit too much? Or I think as a reflection of your personality, <laughs> <laughs> we now know this, why. This dish is perfect. Ross, you're gonna have to Yeah, it. Ross, try it. I'd love to know what you think, man. Let's have a look. Wow. The bacon. Is the, is the bread moist enough? It's good. Yeah, yeah. It, all right, good. Very nicely cooked. Yeah. Is it? OK. Yeah. And the fact that you use stay the bread is very good. And it's a really yeah. good point to make because this does really help the dish, helps it hold together. Mine's obviously still cooking. <laughs> well, we can eat that. Come on, hurry up. But this is, this is really good. Yeah. I better try yeah. Really tasty. Yeah. what's going on. It's really good. what's going on here. I'm just warming a plate. Cool. <laughs> Get a tomato. That looks gorgeous. What sort of tomato is that? Malmosa. Malmosa. Mmm. This is the king, the king mushrooms there, baby. King oysters. Did you just move my plate? Yeah, sorry. Plate up? Just, just showing the people at home. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of black pudding. Black food. Where's your beans? Where's my baked beans? Do you know what? I knew today you were going to say something like that. <laughs> I cannot stand baked beans on a breakfast. Oh. And especially when people, but that's my personal preference. Yeah. Look at that, why would you're you want baked beans when you've got that? You're a tomato that? fan as opposed to beans, isn't it? I am, yes, definitely. Right. Well, I've got to say, brother, it looks gorgeous. <clears throat> my take on a breakfast over fire is this. Right. <laughs> that's a feast. Look at that, that egg looks perfect. Thank you. Right, so this fried bread, yeah? Yeah. See, over in France, they're not a fan of fried bread, I don't no, think. No, no, no. I've got a few French friends that are really nice, here, but I think it really has a place on an English breakfast. Right, it's a great addition to a breakfast, big time. No. It's the egg tea or something. I think I needed right. a larger plate. 
Mm. Throw it around. <laughs> Think about this. You can't get it all in your mouth at once, so I can't give you an in. I'm going to have to try everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just done some of the fried bread with the with the egg. Oh. I'm sort of making slightly rude noises, aren't I? You're seasoned knife ups, I do. That is why it's not cutting. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that's why that's gold. Gold. Well, two amazing breakfasts, I have to say. And um, which would you prefer? Only because I don't have much of a sweet tooth. <gasps> Damon's was a little on the sweet side, but in terms of the way it was cooked, it was perfect. This is delicious, though. <laughs> right, <coughs> lads. I've got to say, thanks for cooking those breakfasts for me. Um, <laughs> really good. This is, uh, the, you know, the best part of the job. So if you like what you've seen here, remember to like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. We love to get comments. And um, tick the little um, bell. bell bell icon. Apparently that gives you notifications. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you later, guys. Welcome to another episode of Fire Feast and Friends, the show where we cook outdoors all year round, whatever the weather. It's a bit cold, yeah, but I've babes. decided today to cook. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Disgusting. You can't do that. <laughs> and it is a glorious January morning. A bit frosty. Yeah, yeah no, I know. I'm going to cook yes. some. Well, I just said <laughs> squivel covers and. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll see you later. Ciao. Cool. Yeah. No, no, I'll see you for badminton on Tuesday.